living yeah, in. Yeah, but there's but there but there's some of that closer to home too. Yeah, I, in February I was in Madison, Wisconsin, where there were more people in the streets protesting in Madison than there were in the streets of Cairo in Egypt. Um, and I played on you know on a, on, a, on a frosty February Saturday in a city of 200,000 people. There were 115,000 people in the streets of Madison uh, mm -hmm. demanding union mm -hmm. rights there. Uh, and so there is it is here too. You know, and sometimes it's not just per percolating under the surface. Sometimes it's very real. Or it's not being covered but by the mainstream media. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. But you have to wonder what does will make people rise up. Joseph Stiglitz asked this question in Vanity Fair recently. He said, we've seen all these uprisings around the world, not just the Arab Spring, yeah. but also people in London. Yeah. Uh, you Greece know, and Spain. Greece, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said, when will it come here? And I, you know, I see people getting angry about Netflix. You know, well, Netflix a, raised its prices. They went. There's also, there's also people bananas. occupying Wall Street right and, and, now and, in Liberty Park and Wall Street. There's yeah. there's hundreds of people occupying Wall Street right now. Right. You know, it's, it's I, I a, live there. It's not. It, it's a couple hundred. Yeah, it's a couple hundred. Like okay. so, well, there's like, also hundred thousand like people see in Madison. The middle, in the people in the political middle, rise up and demand that Congress get some work done. Uh, where well, are they? They just have a vote. Write a letter to the editor. First of all, I, I, I no, think it's the they people. have a vote if they would, uh -huh. and they and have the ability. Well, they don't vote. They're not. If you mean people like centrist, I don't. I think there are a lot of good people in Congress, but it is a broken place. If you mean like centrist Democrats, I think they're the problem. Like the Democrats. Democrats have 53 senators. Yeah, they do. Like 40 of them are good, but it's people like Mary Landrieu. Uh, Jim Webb came out against Obama's taxing the millionaires plan. It's those centrist Democrats who are really corporatist Democrats who work with the Republicans. That's where the, that's what I, block I, blocks I, everything in this. Could country. I, could I, it's not, I could not be more It's not. I could not be more Working I, together is what Congress always used to be. We can disagree with each other, but to get something yeah, done, you have to work together. Yeah, and I, I who think, works together? In, in it's, 90s, it's those. Max Baucus Democrats the with the Republicans. I, I, no, no, no. That's it, who works together. It's not just the centrist Democrats. I, I, was I, a, so. I was a scheduling no. secretary for U.S. Senator Alan Cranston for a couple of years, a very progressive no senator, a very yeah. progressive senator. Um, and, you know, and, and so even on the progressive side, you know, and I, much like the president, I am half Kenyan. Like the president, I'm a Harvard graduate. Right. Like, like the president, uh, I'm from Illinois. And like the president, I've been on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. I got a message for him. Yeah, let's hear it. And I got a message for him. Do, it's time. It's time to grow a pair. You know what I mean? The people, a lot of people who put you in office, put you in office to fight for them, That's to right. fight against the Tea Party, to fight against this bullshit in Congress, to fight against those sons of bitches who are attacking the working class and the poor in this country. And he hasn't done any of that. No, no, I'm not. Also, also, but at the same, at the same time. At the same time, I'm not waiting for him. I'm not waiting for him. I'm with the people in Madison. I'm with the people who are occupying Wall Street. That's what my music's about. I know what Michael does this too. It's like when progressive, radical, or even revolutionary changes happen in this country, it's always come from below. When women got the right to vote, when lunch counters were desegregated, it was people you do not read about in history books who stood up in their place and their time for what they believed. But Tom, all these, all these changes happen. All these changes happen when good ideas Come, are adopted by reformers. You know, politics is really not divided between left and right. It's radicals, reactionaries, and reformers. And that's why the center matters. We've got a divided government. The only way you're going to get anything passed is if you find a way to reason together. That's the core idea of our government. It's broken down. The hyper-partisanship, the polarization of the two parties, that's hurting our country because it's stopping us from solving the serious problem. What's hurting us is, is, that, is that Wall Street and corporate America own our members of Congress. That's, that's part of the problem. problem. Right. That's that part of the problem. Oh, oh, that's why nothing's getting done for the people. Yeah. And to answer your question, Bill... Republicans the, and Democrats. That's right. Republicans and Democrats. And the uprising will occur in this country. It will take it maybe a different form than in other countries. But, but I don't think I, we're going to... We're not going to know exactly how it's going to take place. It could just be that, that next person, that last person, who's being thrown out of their home after working hard all their lives, the last foreclosure, or the last person who lost a family member because they didn't have I, health insurance. Wait, I, I, and I, then to, that I, person I'm, is going to start and it's going to go and blow across the country in a nonviolent way. But the way 